Let S be the annual number of hurricanes hitting Florida and Y annual number of hurricanes hitting Texas. X and Y are independent Poisson with means 1.7 and 2.3. Find variance of X minus Y given X plus Y equals three. So X is Poisson with mean 1.7. So f of x equals 1.7 power x, e power negative 1.7 over x factorial. And similarly, y is Poisson with mean 2.3. So uh, we need to find f of x, y. So we need an extra. So we need f of x, y given x plus y equals three in order to find this variance because the uh, conditional PDF, we don't need the normal PDF of f of x, y. So, so if this condition was not there, if x plus y equals three was not there and we just had to find variance of x minus y, then you would just find the expected value of x minus y, expected value of x minus y square. And for those expected values, you just need the, um, normal PDF uh, and joint PDF f of x so maybe we should do h of x y here h of uh, um, x y given x plus y equals three so So now uh, x plus y is equal to three is the given condition. We tabulate the possibilities uh, where x plus y equals three. So and the x, y points where the sum of the coordinates equals three are zero, three, one, two, two, one, and three, zero. So probability x equals x and y equals y equals um, f. So here also this is the joint PDF is h. So let me see if the parentheses are in the correct place. H of X, Y. So we don't need the outer parentheses here, but okay. Be too much. Uh, so to remove them. So let's leave them like that. So, um, yeah, strictly speaking, these these outer parentheses are not needed. We're talking h of x, y given x plus y equals three, but okay. So probability x equals x, y equals y. Uh, so that is f, x, g, y, which is h of x, y. Let me write that. So uh, since X and Y are now we're using the fact that X and Y are independent, therefore we can split up this probability into this product FX times GY. So uh, X is zero in this row. So uh, in the FX we're substituting zero so zero for the x's and y is three in this row. So we are substituting three uh, for the y's in the g. And that gives us uh, 0 0.03714. And similarly, all others. Um, here x is one and y is two in the second row and so on. And then we also need the X minus Y. So when X is zero and Y is three, the X minus Y is zero minus three, which is negative three. Similarly here, it's one minus two, which is negative one. Here it's two minus one, which is one. And uh, the probability H of X, Y, given X plus Y is equal to three would be the H of X, Y divided by, um, 
uh, h of x, y, and x plus y is three divided by probability of x plus y equal to three. So the probability x plus y is equal to three, which is what we have to divide by, would be the sum of all these situations in which x plus y is equal to three. So x plus y is equal to three could be this one, this one, this one, this one. These are the corresponding probabilities and the total probability of x plus y is equal to three is the sum of all those situations where x plus y could be three. So the sum of all these probabilities, which comes out to be 0.19537. Okay. So, um, so then here it's probability we, we wrote here that h of x, y given x plus y is equal to three will be our basic formula h of x, y and x plus y equal to three divided by probability x plus y is equal to three. It's in the wrong place. x plus y is equal to three. Okay. So uh, we basically will be dividing this one, this uh, the entries over here by the total, which was the probability of x plus y equal to three. So when we divide these entries by this sum, we get these values over here. And so these are the, this is the joint PDF that we need to sum against. So the required thing was the variance of x minus y given x plus y equal to three. So first we find the expected value of x minus y given x plus y equal to three. That'd be the summation of the x minus y values uh, against this PDF. H is what we are calling it. H of x, y given x plus y equal to three. And so uh, the x minus y values are these. And this is the probability function against which we are integrating it, uh, against, against which we are uh, summing it. So negative three times this, plus negative one times this, plus one times this, plus three times this, that will be the expected value of x minus y under these conditions. <laughs> So that comes out to be 0.4499. Similarly, we need expected value of x minus y square when x plus y equal to three. So now we sum the x minus y square against this conditional PDF, h. And now we just square these uh, x minus y values. The probability is the same as here. So negative three squared times 0 0.1901 plus negative one squared times 0.4216 and so on. So that gives you 3.1353. And now we have the two expected values that we need for the variance. Variance of x minus y given x plus y equal to three would be the expected value of x minus y square given x plus y equal to three minus expected value of x minus y given x plus y equals three whole squared. We have both of them, 3.13 and 0.4499 whole square, and we end up with 2.93, that's choice C.